Good evening, gentlemen. 2200 hours, drug cartel mercenaries seize the Ariane Space Launch Facility in French Guyana. They plan to launch their own surveillance satellite to counteract U.S. drug enforcement efforts. This mission has three targets. First, destroy enemy radar sites. Watch out for ZSU AAA and Panther helicopters. Second, knock out the vertical assembly building and all surrounding fuel tanks. These will be guarded by Mirage aircraft. Third, destroy the Ariane rocket on the pad. Defenses are the Eurofighter and ground launch stingers. Radar sites are crucial. Once you've cleared them, we'll send in a B-1 and F-15 air support. Make sure you get that rocket before it launches. The countdown's already started, so let's get out there and kill Queen. This is the Russian general, Sergei Kolitnikov. He's a charismatic leader. His men worship him. But intel indicates he's lost his mind and is threatening to invade Alaska. The Russian military brass refused to get involved. It's up to us to stop him. We have three jobs. First, seek and destroy the Nikolai Berdyev, a Rogov-class missile cruiser defended by MiG-29s. Second, Destroy Kolitnikov's mechanized infantry, including all T-80 tanks and BMPs. They'll be guarded by Hind helicopters and ZSU AAA. Third, and most important, destroy the General's ice base with him in it. It's hidden in the mountains and protected by SU-35 fighters and snowcat mounted stingers. As always, monitor my comm and kill clean. This is the impoverished totalitarian state of Burma. This is Yung Sa, regional opium warlord with his own 100,000 man army. Yung Sa heads the largest drug trafficking operation in Southeast Asia. Your mission is to put him out of business. First, destroy the processing plant and all guard towers defended by hind helicopters. Second, a large shipment has just left Yung Sa's complex by train. Destroy this train. Expect ZSUs and Havoc helicopters. Third, sink all speedboats waiting at the port. Watch out for SU-25 fighters and AAA. A C-130 Spectre gunship will be on station providing suppressive fire. Keep your wits about you, people. Good morning, gentlemen. We have been asked to solve a 3,000 euro conflict in the next five hours. The adversaries are Pakistan and India. Their conflict has escalated to a dangerous standoff. The Indians have brought their tactical nuclear weapons into the theater. The Pakistanis are ready to use biological warfare weapons. The mission has two objectives. First, at Lumpur Field, destroy Indian tanks and mobile missile launchers. Watch out for AAA and F-16s. Hit their nuclear missiles while still on the ground. Second, neutralize the Pakistani bioweapons facility in the Himalayas, defended by SAMs and MiG-29s. You should anticipate a stinger-rich battlefield. Be careful. Drift a few clicks off course in any direction, and you'll end up in Afghanistan, Tajikistan, or China. That's why they call this the Pamir Mount. And gentlemen, Sing Compact has bumped up the threat liability assessment to level four. Two minutes to midnight. As always, monitor my comm and kill clean. Jihad, gentlemen, holy war. Two days ago, radical fundamentalists seized the Saudi government. This caused previously secure, high-level American military assets to fall into enemy hands. We must destroy these weapon systems. First, neutralize the northern Saudi air base. Destroy the F-15s and Russian blackjack bombers, defended by ZSU AAA. Second, bomb oil rigs and refineries, protected by Cobra gunships 
and T-80 tanks. Finally, destroy the stealth base of Kamis Mushat. Expect SU-35 flankers and heavy fire from SAM sites. Be advised there are friendlies in the area. I want a positive ID on all targets. Kilo Charlie, people. Kill clean. Good morning, gentlemen. Let's get to it. The former Soviet Union has descended into chaos. The Russian crime syndicate has seized the chemical weapons plant at Kazakhstan. U.S. intel suggests the syndicate is selling chemical weapons to terrorist nations. They plan to export these weapons by submarine. In order to put the syndicate out of business, you must destroy three targets. First, destroy the Kazakhstan weapons plant. Look out for SA-8 air defense systems. Second, Knock out all bridges and trucks along the Emba River. Expect to encounter heavy ZSU AAA and Hein gunships. Third, sink their Alpha-class submarines at the Gulf of Riga. These are defended by MiGs and missile cruisers. Watch your fuel. This is a long mission. Two hours ago, NATO reported terrorist movement and a massive scud buildup along Libya's Mediterranean coast. These missiles are a direct threat to our NATO allies in Southern Europe. Your mission is threefold. One, take out the terrorist camps, defended by Halo helicopters and Stinger-equipped infantry. Two, destroy their arms depot. Keep an eye out for civilian vehicles. They might have AAA capability. Three, search and destroy all Scud emplacements along the Mediterranean coast. Watch out for truck-mounted SAMs and possibly high-end attack helicopters. A C-5 Galaxy will deploy M1 Abrams tanks into the battlefield to assist in the Scud hunt. Make sure you hit the Scud trucks on the move before they get to launch positions. Good morning, gentlemen. This is Roberto Velasquez, head of the Martinez drug cartel. Thanks to his increasingly hands-on management style, our U.S. drug surveillance operation was able to pinpoint the location and time of his next major drug transaction. It is happening today in the Mayan ruins of Mexico. A C-130 cargo plane and V-22 Ospreys are being loaded with a shipment for transport to the U.S. First. Destroy the speedboats transporting the drugs to the ruins. Expect heavy fire from boat-mounted AAA. Second, destroy the drug warehouse located within the Mayan ruins. It's defended by M60 tanks and ZSUs. Third, destroy the C-130 cargo plane and V-22 Ospreys. Knock out the convoy of M35 trucks led by Velasquez's private Humvee. Listen up. Let's get out there and kill the queen. As we expected, removing Velasquez has created a major power struggle between the drug cartels. Our intel has just informed us that top cartel leaders are now meeting aboard an oil rig in the Mexican Gulf. We have a chance to deal the cartels a crippling blow. First, take out the Aegis weapons cruiser guarding the meeting. Watch out for F-14 Tomcats patrolling the area. Second, destroy the oil rig. Expect heavy fire from Seahawk helicopters and F-18 Hornets. Third, prevent any leaders from escaping in their fleet of stealth boats and hovercraft. This is a tough one, guys. Their drug money has bought them the best pilots and the best planes on the mercenary market. But I happen to think that you people are up to the task. Good luck and kill clean. LS Air Force Base people, I'm sure you remember our red flag exercises out there. I'm sure you also remember the box, Dreamland, Area 51, whatever name you choose, the most restricted airspace on Earth. And deep in its belly is this, Room Lake Air Base. 
a place so secret our own government will not acknowledge its existence. You've heard all the stories, people. Aliens, spacecraft, maybe even Elvis. Recent budget cuts have created a rebellion among high-ranking covert operatives working at Area 51. They have taken control of Groom Lake Air Base and the Aurora Project. They are planning to sell the Aurora spy plane on the international black market. This is a direct threat to our national security. We have just received executive branch orders to destroy Groom Lake Air Base and the Aurora spy plane before it takes off. Gentlemen, I'm asking you to fly a combat sortie on United States soil. In truth, I have no idea what you may encounter out there, but expect to engage the cutting edge of American military technology. This is an impossible mission, gentlemen. That's why they came to us. <laughs>